Hello students. Now we're going to explain our grammar lesson for this week, which is the possessive nouns. Uh, we took about nouns before. We took singular nouns. We took plural nouns. Today we're going to talk about possessive nouns. From their title, possessive. What does it mean, possessive? When I possess something, means I own something. Okay? I have a dog. I have a dog means I possess a dog. Okay? So possessive means having or own. I own. Like for example, if I, I, if I have a pen, this is a pen. For who is pen? Is this pen? Who owns this pen? This pen is for Tia. Okay? So Tia owns this pen. Tia possesses this pen. So this pen is for Tia. Okay? Let's see. The possessive nouns, they show who or what owns something. So always the possessive nouns, they show you who owns something. They show you each thing is for who. Let me show you. In the first case, we start with the singular possessive nouns. Because the possessive nouns, they could be in two parts. Singular possessive nouns or plural possessive nouns. Okay? They could be in singular form or plural form. Let's start with the singular form. In the singular form, the noun, we will add to it an apostrophe, then S. How? As I told you, if I have this pen, for who is this pen? This is Maya's pen. Instead of saying this pen is for Maya, what do I say? I say this is C. Maya, apostrophe S, Maya's pen. When I say Maya's pen, this means this pen is for Maya. If I say Amir's car, see, Amir is noun, right? Amir is singular noun. Singular means one. Singular noun. So what do we do for the singular noun? We add the apostrophe and then S. So here I showed that Amir owns the car. This is what do we call a possessive noun. The possessive noun with the apostrophe S, it shows us who owns the thing. Here, we saw that Amir owns the car. In other way, this car is for Amir. So here we have ownership. We know who owns the car. Clear? This is for the singular. What about the plural noun? The plural noun is the same, but the only one difference is that the noun is in the singular form. Let's see when we have plural noun like kids. Kids, see there is S in the end. That means this, no this noun is in plural form. What do we do? Because kids, they already have S in the end. So to show ownership, to show that this team is for these kids, we only add apostrophe. So, kids' teams. 
okay clear so singular form apostrophe s plural form s apostrophe this is singular possessive noun and this is plural possessive noun okay let's see here examples on the practice book possessive nouns we have this page it's about singular write the possessive form of each singular noun okay here we are working on singular noun a young boy the the uh, sorry the noun that we are working on is boy a young boy only language was Choctaw. The boys, see, boy apostrophe s, because the boy is singular. In school, the teacher language was English. The lang the 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 language we are talking about the teacher. Okay. The teachers, apostrophe, then S. One group of people start to speak another group's language. A group, I will write it clearly for you. Apostrophe, C, then S. Many of the world's languages could disappear. Worlds. So it's the same. World apostrophe then S. Leroy, Leroy sorry, silly goal is to keep Chakta from disappear. From disappearing. So silly apostrophe S. This Native American home is in Oklahoma. Americans, the same. To make it clear for you, apostrophe, then S. Today, the man's niece is learning Choctaw. Man, apostrophe, then S. A turtle, turtle, apostrophe, then S. This is about the singular possessive noun. Okay. Uh, I have a note here to tell you about the plural possessive noun that sometimes for the irregular plural nouns irregular plural nouns like what that we took them the last week like for example men men this is the plural form of men okay how the possessive will work on this word it's a plural form but can we add s and apostrophe like the others no this is a special case for the irregular plural nouns. They will be treated like singular because, for example, men, okay, it will be apostrophe s. Men's work, for example. Men, yes, it's a plural noun, but it will be treated like singular. Why? Because it's one of the irregular plural nouns okay children for example the word children children is in the plural form can we add as no of course what will happen it will take apostrophe s so it will be children's day for example look it's treated as singular apostrophe s because children is already Plural. Okay, I hope this is clear. I have another page. We will practice this now on page 27. 
on page 27 we have read these sentences draw one line under each singular possessive noun draw two lines under each plural possessive nouns okay so we will underline one time under singular and twice under plural one one day the boy's parents came to his school boy the base word is boy so it's singular right one line both parents' faces were very sad. What is the possessive noun? It's parents. Look at it. The base word is parents. Both parents. Meaning this is a plural. Two. In camp, most of the older boys' time was spent standing around. Most of the older boys' time. Boys' time is plural. We have S, then apostrophe. So this is plural. Teddy's dad asked him to get some water. Teddy. Teddy is one, right? It's singular. So one line. At first, the filled dirt was dry and cracked. Filled. Look at filled. Look at the, the base word. Filled. Is it singular or plural? Singular. So it's one line. All of the kids' sizes were about the same. What, where is the, the base word? Kids. All. From all, I can know that kids is plural. We always have clue words in the sentences. You always have to use the context. Did the man staring bother the boy? Men. It's singular, of course, because what's the plural of men? It's men. E. Okay. At home, the player's nickname for the boy was Shorty. Players. All the players, mean all of them, they gave the boy a nickname. Players takes S, then apostrophe. So this is plural noun. It takes two lines. Okay. This is very clear. Repeat the video many times. Follow very well. I want you to move to page 30. You will have a homework. This page will be a homework. You can stop the video to read the sentences and write only the answers on your comprehension copybook. Okay? Read the sentences aloud, then make each underlined noun possessive. Be sure to write the possessive forms correctly. So read the sentence. You have here an underlined noun, underlined noun. You need to write it in the possessive form. Possessive form means we add apostrophe S or S apostrophe. Okay? The same way we did a few minutes ago. I hope this is very clear. Stop the video and again write only the answers on the copybook. Thank you.